Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a video. I don't really have any favorites per se for the month of August because I've just been so crazy busy that I haven't really been like paying attention to specific products. I've kind of just been using the same products I've been using from my last month's favorites. So I didn't want to do a favorites video because I felt like it just wouldn't be anything spectacular it'd be pretty boring but I did want to do a video just sharing with you guys some of the new items that are out right now that are worth the hype I know that on YouTube a lot of people talk about a lot of different brands and like sometimes they're sponsored and sometimes people just really don't know if these items are worth the hype or not so I just wanted to share with you some items that I have been using. I am not sponsored by anyone. My channel only has like 3,000 something subscribers, so I'm not that special. But I just wanted to share with you guys some things that I've really been enjoying that are fairly new out in the market right now at like Sephora and Ulta and things like that. So when you go shopping, I wanted you guys to kind of have an idea of something that is not biased at all, just something I've really been enjoying and I wanted to share with you. And hopefully you'll enjoy them as well. So the first item I'm going to talk about is from Kat Von D. This is the Shade Light Palette. This palette is really good. I really enjoy it. At first, I was kind of on the fence about it because you do have to work with it. You have to play with it. You kind of have to get used to the product. But once you get used to it, and I feel like once you use the right technique and the right brush or the right tool that works for you, you will really enjoy it. This is a great palette for on the go and traveling because it's got your highlighting shades as well as your contouring shades. And I feel like this palette is especially nice because it caters to so many different skin tones. If you are a little bit more fair in tone, I feel like it will be a little bit deep to work with. I feel like it's better for people who are more color in their skin. Not necessarily that you have to be dark or super tan, but some people who have pigment, maybe if you self tan this will work for you. But I see that a lot of people of different skin tones are really using this and really enjoying it and it's something that I think is really great, especially for the price point. And especially if you're a traveler, you will really enjoy this product because it's just so convenient and it's got like pretty much everything you need and a really decent size mirror all in one. So this is something that's out that I really feel like is worth it and I feel like people will really enjoy if they want to have a new contouring palette in their collection. The next item I have been enjoying as well is from Makeup Forever. This is the Pro Bronze Fusion. It is that fairly new gel bronzer and I know that Makeup Forever really push their products this um time around their new collections and they sent it to a lot of vloggers and youtubers so I like was really curious and wanted to know if it was worth the hype and everybody was like oh it's so great it's so great and I'm like mm. but I went to Sephora I bought it the great thing about Sephora is that you have 60 days to return if you don't like it and I was a little weary because looking online at the color selection it looked like it wasn't going to do anything for my skin tone so I was a little on the fence about it but I went and saw that they had the deepest color so I went to try it and I ended up purchasing it and I have the color 351 wait yeah 351 it's the darkest shade they carry and it is a gel formula which is kind of odd and I thought it was going to be a little bit weird of a texture for your skin because it's like a powder-like formation. It's compact. But I really enjoy it. It's actually what I have on my cheeks right now. And I like it because it does stand out on my skin tone. And it's a great bronzer and it stays for a long time. I don't have problems with it coming off. Even if I touch my face, I do not have problems with it coming off, which I really, really like. In addition to that, sometimes when I work, I do have to wear a mask. So I feel like when I have like blushes or powders or any kind of bronzing, anything on my face, it has the potential to come off and this does not. So that is something that especially stood out to me and I thought it was really worth it and I like the stay power and I just like the formula and I like the way it applies to the skin. It's a really nice product. So if you are any skin tone, they have a really wide range, you will absolutely love this powder. It's really great for bronzing and it just stays on your skin so well. It sets nicely. It doesn't look cakey. So I really have been enjoying this and I've been using this quite a bit. The next item I've been enjoying is really new to me. This is the Makeup Forever H Ultra HD um, foundation. I did just purchase this like a month ago and I was like, 
Hmm, I liked the original formula, but it took some time for me to kind of get used to it because it was like a love-hate relationship. But this one is really nice as well. It's very similar to that formula. I feel like when I wear it, it makes my skin look so seamless, so I really do like that about it. But it's also not very heavy, which is the great part about it. I really haven't done any flash photography or any kind of filming um, with it to really see if the HD aspect of it is like that spectacular. But I do like the way it sits on my face. It has a really good stay power. I do have combination skin, so it does look good. It doesn't make me look overly oily. It doesn't make me look overly matte or dry. So I've been liking it and I am in the color Y455. And I feel like if you're in the market for a new foundation, it's not like a must-have, like you have to go out and get it today. But I do enjoy it and I think it looks nice on the skin. Another product I've been especially loving, this has been like the love of my life for the past week and a half, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture World Traveler Palette. I had seen that Sephora said it's like what's new. And I've always been super curious about the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows. Every YouTuber uses their products and I do love their eyebrow product, eyebrow, eyebrow products and I've always been curious about their eyeshadows. But these singles are a little bit on the pricey side. I think they're like $20 and I feel like it's a little ridiculous. So I felt like this palette came with, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. It came with 12 small eyeshadows and it was $30. So I thought that the price point was really good and it was a really good opportunity for me to try something new. And I really don't need any eyeshadows, the Lord knows. But I was really curious and I've seen so much hype about their products online. And I've always been curious to try them out. And whenever I have gone to Macy's and swatched stuff, they looked really nice. But they just didn't have much of a selection because it's always like super picked over. So I saw that Sephora launched this and I love the color Morocco Pink Champagne Intense Gaze. And those were the colors that especially stuck out to me. So it's this color right here, this color, and this color. This color up here kind of reminds me of Max Brown's script and that Makeup Forever eyeshadow that I use in almost every tutorial. And the pink champagne is just like a super shimmery, beautiful pink. And it's currently what I have on my lids right now. And in addition to that, I also have Intense Gaze. I pretty much have this whole palette on my um, lids right now so if you like what you see on my lids this is the palette I use the only thing I did use that was not in this palette is my transition shade my per usual Amazonian jungle by Napoleon Paradis but this eyeshadow palette is phenomenal I really was super impressed I really did not know what I was getting myself into when I purchased it I thought I was either gonna love it or hate it and I love it. I think it's such a gorgeous palette. I love the formulation of these eyeshadows and it really made me want to go out and buy like every single one that they had but you know I'm having self-control. But I really feel like this is great and for $30, 12 single eyeshadows like this, they're not the biggest but they're a good size. You, I feel like it's going to take you some time to hit paint on them. I feel like this is such a great palette and it's got so many great universal shades as well as some bolder shades like the blue. But it's very usable. It's very great for traveling. It's very good also for day to day. I've been using this nonstop, and when I wear this eyeshadow palette to work, I feel like I get so many compliments. So many people are like, what is on your eyes? Or your eyeshadow looks really good. And it's really just this. I've been using this non-stop and I'm currently gonna go on a trip on Thursday and this is definitely going to be the palette that I pack. I have love I love it. I love it so much and I think it's totally worth it. And if you're able to get it, like please get it because you will not regret it. It's such a great product and I think this is the product that I like the most out of everything that I've mentioned in this video. So I think it is limited edition, so if you want it, hurry up and get it. And for $30, you really cannot beat it. And I'm very impressed, and I'm really curious to see what other palettes they launch because I was really happy with this and want to get some more, but I don't really want to spend $20 per pan or however much it costs because I really think that's a little expensive. But yeah, I've been enjoying this a lot, and I think you guys should all go out and get it because it's that great. So yeah, it's true. The hype is... It's totally worth the hype. It's about the Anastasia palette because I feel like I went on a huge rant. 
The next item I've been really enjoying, believe it or not, is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I like this product a lot because it's just very convenient. It's very easy to use. And it's not like you have to like apply so much product to your face. And I am not someone who is like a diehard primer person. I will use it sometimes. I use it sometimes. I don't. Sometimes I just leave my moisturizer on and that's it. But I feel like this is great because it doesn't feel like you have a lot of product on the skin. It feels very easy. It just feels like effortless. It doesn't have like a, like a, I don't know. Like sometimes I feel like primers can be suffocating to the skin. Especially if you're applying like more product on top of it. So that's the thing that I love about this. It just feels like nothing on the skin. It makes your makeup stay. I like it a lot. And I feel like... I was like, what is this all about? I didn't think it was going to be anything special, but I do really enjoy it. It's a great product. And if you're someone who feels the same about like a lot of product on the skin, I think that you will like this if you are in the market for a primer. The next item I've been loving, and I think it's totally amazing, and I did recently just get this. This was in my last haul. is the Laura Geller um, Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. This is really, really nice, and I'm currently wearing it on my cheeks today. But I think it's such a great highlight. It's beautiful. caters to so many different skin tones, especially if you have a tan. This will especially accentuate your skin and it will bring in that glow from within. And I have been really using it a lot. You can see that it's all like dirty because I've just been using it a ton. It's a really great shadow. I wish that the product was a little bigger, especially for the price point. But I do enjoy it and I think it's something that is worth the hype and I would definitely suggest it to people especially if you are someone who loves a nice highlight this is going to be your BFF moving on from that the highlight that I've been killing into the ground and this one I mentioned like several times here on my channel and it is the Becca champagne pop by Jaclyn Hill eye um, highlighter this highlight is just so great I love it so much I feel like Becca has so many great products and I love the brand and I've expressed that so much on my channel and I feel like they especially did a great job with this product because it is just so gorgeous on so many different skin tones I feel like it looks great it looks very natural it's not going to be like an over the top highlight whereas like I feel like this one is a little bit more like bright and it's a little bit more like obvious whereas this one's very subtle and it also makes you look very glowy it gives you that really natural glow so if you're someone who just wants something natural looking, you don't want to look like overly highlighted like me, <laughs> then you would probably really enjoy this because it is great. The formula is phenomenal. Becca is just a, the bomb. Like, I love that brand. They're just... I love them so much. <laughs> so, yeah, I definitely suggest this. It's a little bit pricey, but you will really enjoy it. And it's just got so much product and a little just go a long way. So you will get your money's worth, and I think that it will look great on every skin tone, which is the best part about it. So, yeah, this has been, it's been the business. So moving on from that, I feel like I keep, like, rolling to this side, or, wait, this side, and then I look off-center, so... Sorry guys, I'm in a rolly chair and I get a little excited. The next item I've been really enjoying also, and I've mentioned this several times here on my channel as well, is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. This is in the color 02. This has been my favorite, favorite, favorite highlighter of the moment besides the Jaclyn Hill one. I especially like this one because it's just so travel friendly and as the last two months I have been traveling non-stop. I've just been going on trip after trip after trip and I have been looking for what's convenient for me to pack and this has definitely been something that has been a staple in my travel bag because it is just so easy and it's definitely just very user friendly and I feel like it's just perfect because it has both a bronzer and a highlighter so it's just one less product I have to pack and I love the convenience of it. I especially love the highlight. It is super gorgeous on the skin. It looks so good. I just cannot emphasize how beautiful it looks on the skin and I feel like it's something that appeals to every skin tone as well which is the beauty of this product. As far as the bronzer, I have heard mixed reviews about it because it is a little bit on the orangey side. For me, it doesn't affect me because I like to wear it. 
it doesn't pull overly orange on my skin tone but I know if you're a little bit more fair in tone it might pull a little bit more orange but I love it because it works for me and it's that same gel formula as that bronzer that I showed you earlier this one just has a little bit more of orange undertones and I will show you side by side so you kind of have an idea if you're interested in buying this this one is a little bit more cool whereas this one is a little more orange if you can tell so yeah, like I definitely think this is great. I think it's worth it. I think that you will definitely get your money's worth out of it because I certainly have and I have so many different products and I've just been gravitating toward this a whole lot. So this is especially something special for me and I think that it's going to be a great product for anybody's collection because it's just so usable and it's so convenient. The next item I have been loving and this one is a mascara and Mascaras for me are just something that are hit or miss. I really feel like they are really pricey for what they are, especially if you buy them from a place like Sephora or Ulta. I feel like they can be a little bit overpriced when there are drugstore mascaras that are fairly inexpensive and do just as good of a job. But the one that I have been loving this time around, and it's really new, is the Benefit Rollerball Lash. I like this because I do not wear false eyelashes. It takes me... It takes a very special event for me to wear them, so I do not like them at all. I don't like the way they feel on my eyes. I just am not a big fan. Like, they don't do anything for me. So for me, mascaras are really important because I want something that's going to accentuate my natural lash, but it's not going to look overly clumpy or like spiders or like just horrible. So I feel like this one is really nice. I love the formulation of it. I love the way it applies. I like the brush. It's just so good. I like it, everything about it, and it's it's got a curve to it, so it really just gets in there when you are applying it to the lashes. So it's something I've been especially liking because I feel like it really accentuates my natural lashes, and it makes my lashes look really nice and full, and it's currently what I have on. I don't know if you can really tell, but it makes my lashes look really nice, and I've been thoroughly enjoying this guy. The next two items... I've been enjoying I kind of love them together are the new Urban Decay lip glosses these have been the business I have been packing these every trip I go on I was just the matron of honor in my friend's wedding and these were the lip glosses that I used like the whole day for the wedding and she actually used it as well my friend who was the bride she used these as well because it's just such a perfect formula it stays it looks like it has pigment to the lip but not overly pigmented which is really great and it's just so light and it doesn't feel gritty on the lips it doesn't feel overly sticky it just glides on the formula in these are phenomenal I don't believe in getting like especially expensive lip glosses because I feel like they're just lip glosses and you go through them so quickly but these are so nice. I love them. I think the color pigmentation in them is great. What you see in the container is what you're going to get when you apply it to your lips. It stays for a really long time, which is especially nice. So I got the colors Kinky and Liar. They're very similar, but they're totally up my alley. And I've been using them a lot, and I think they're great. They just look so nice on the lips and they're so neutral but they just add a lot of color to the lips to your natural they're like kind of like a my lips but better lip gloss and i feel like the formula is unbeatable so if you were wondering about them and you're like are they worth it are they not worth it i think they're completely worth it and you will really enjoy them especially if you're not someone who's like super into lipsticks this is totally going to be up your alley the next like, product I've been also enjoying is the Too Faced Melted Liquifier Long Wear Lipstick. This is in the color Melted Chihuahua. I like this color a lot. It's very similar to the ones I showed you. It's very neutral. It goes on really nicely as well. The thing I like about this is kind of like a lipstick, but not. It's kind of like a lip gloss lipstick all in one. Very pigmented, has really good long lasting longevity to the lips it will stay on your lips for quite some time i love this color because it goes with absolutely everything this is something i love to throw in my travel bag as well because it's just so neutral and it goes with every different every look that you can possibly pair it with and i just love the formulation of these they're great and this one has been my favorite so if you're going to get any one out of the collection and you're a neutral girl this is the one you will especially love and you will 
it will last you for quite some time, I will admit that. So a little goes a long way because it's just really pigmented. The second to last product I have been enjoying is the Naked Urban Decay Smoky Palette. This is really new. My friend Annie got this for me, so thank you so much, Annie. I really appreciate it. Um, this palette is super nice because it's just perfect for fall, and I know fall is coming around the corner, but it's also very wearable for day to day. I love that they included more mattes in this palette. Urban Decay has some really nice palettes, but sometimes I feel like they're not very user friendly because you do have to pull from other products in your collection. I like a palette that you can just, just boom, put this in my travel bag and go. Like I don't want to worry about a bunch of different stuff to pair with it. And I feel like in the past they had just a lot of shimmery tones, not enough mattes, and I feel like in this palette they really did do a good job of incorporating half and half. Like they have one, two, three, four, f like five mattes and the rest are shimmery or like metallic-y. But the color selection is really beautiful. I feel like it's got a really great range of neutrals, but it also goes into darker neutrals. And I feel like this is something that a lot of people will use. As far as the um, pigmentation, it's completely great. It's completely great. Like, what am I saying right now? <laughs> as far as the pigmentation goes, it is really nice. It lasts really well on the lids. I've just been really impressed with this. And if you watch my channel, you know that I'm not a huge fan of the Naked palette. So this one really did shock me. And I feel like they really pulled through. And it is a really nice palette. And I think that it's something that a lot of people will enjoy if they want to go out and get it. And I love the packaging because it's just very sturdy in comparison to the ones that they've put out in the past. I know I have the Naked 3 and it just is kind of like a cheapy package, but this one is very sturdy, it's very firm, and I feel like you can travel with it and the like actual pans won't fall out, whereas the last one did for me. So yeah, this one is really awesome as well. The last product I'm going to talk about is the Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadows. These are incredible. I have bought these and I have been using them a lot, as you can see. I feel like she really put out a good, unique, special product. And I feel like this is something that is not very available on the market. There's nothing like it, which is what drew me into it. And I feel like she did a great job. I will say that you do have to set it. It does take a little bit more work with these products, but once you apply them to the lid, the pigmentation is incredible and it looks great. Like what you see in the pan is what is gonna show on your lids. And it goes on so easy, so effortlessly. The product is a little soft, so you do have to be careful because it's easy to like dent it and damage it. But you one who's into these colors, I feel like she did such a great range of neutral to like medium to like a little bit more vivid colors. And I feel like they look so fantastic on the skin. And I think that this formula is amazing. I use these for like several months straight because they were just so great. You do have to like combine them with other shadows in your palettes or in your collection because they are just straight shimmer but they are amazing and the quality is unbeatable and I feel like for the price point you cannot beat it and I just am really impressed like when I wear it every time I put them on I literally like I'm like wow this looks really nice or wow this like color is beautiful on the skin because they really do stand out so yeah so this concludes my like products that are worth the hype kind of video i hope you guys enjoyed it and leave me comments down below if you like things like this i'm trying to like be good and not buy makeup but you know sometimes i feel like it's really important to share with others what really is you know good out there i mean not everything will work for everyone but i feel like it's just nice to have a non-biased opinion as far as products and yeah i really appreciate it when other youtubers do that so Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys.